Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate a Hobbywing XR10 speed controller. Now before we get too much further, I just wanted to say thank you very much for dropping in and taking a look at another one of my videos. Now in front of you is a Yokomo YD2 drift chassis. In this drift car is the Hobbywing XR10 Pro Speed Controller. Now this process will work for the Pro V2 if you have one of those as well. Now you'll notice on the Speed Controller is a little silver power button. This is the exact same button that you'll be using to calibrate your Speed Controller. Now the process for this is very simple. So we're going to hold down that little silver button until the Speed Controller begins to beep. We'll press the button for the neutral position. Then we will pull full throttle and hold on the controller and press the button to register the full throttle command. Then we will push full reverse on the controller and hold and then press that silver button a final time to finish the calibration. Now that I've explained that to you, let me see if I can demonstrate it. Now you'll notice that I've already powered on my controller and set the controller to the proper model memory. Then I will power on the speed controller, but instead of pressing and releasing the button, I will hold the button. Once it begins beeping, I will let it go. Then we will press the button to register the neutral command. Then we will pull full throttle on the controller and press the button again. Then full reverse and press the button a final time. Now the system is calibrated and is ready to be used. Well guys, hopefully you can see how easy it is to calibrate the Hobbywing speed controller. You may also notice that this calibration process is very similar to many other speed controllers on the market. Well, if you benefited from this video in any way, please consider giving me a thumbs up, a subscription, and don't forget to hit that bell. I mention this in all of my videos. If you're not hitting that bell, you're not getting notified when the new content goes up. So make sure you go back and do that for all of your subscriptions. Well, that'll wrap up this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.